you had a tweet yesterday, a music statement yesterday that, frankly, I thought maybe Paulie was fooling me and pulling my leg, that uh, you, you sent out a tweet and you backed it up and you firmly believe in it, so let the audience know what your tweet was. Well, just to give some background, Dan, okay, yesterday was Taylor Swift's birthday. She does, by the way, happen to be from my hometown of Why I'm Missing, Pennsylvania, so I might be a little bit biased okay. there. So on my radio show, we were playing all Taylor Swift music, and one of my listeners knows that I happen to think that Prince's music was overrated. So he tweeted me and said, mm. you like this stuff, but you don't like Prince. Mm. And I said, you know, don't compare Taylor Swift to Prince. I think Taylor Swift has 10 songs that are better than any of Prince's songs. And Dan, uh, it did not go over real well. <laughs> I got eviscerated on social media, and people are telling me, well, Prince plays 26 instruments. Plitz, you know, Prince had his own genre. He changed the culture. <laughs> Look, Dan, I don't care how many instruments he plays. I'm not comparing the two as musicians. I know he wrote Nothing Compares to You for Sinead O'Connor. I'm talking about their songs. And all I care about, not genres or culture or how sophisticated you sound, all I care about is how the music sounds when it goes through my ears into my brain. And I'm telling you, there's at least five Taylor Swift songs that I'd rather listen to than any Prince song. I mean, what's his best song, Dan? Purple Rain? Is that is that like that's a great song? Purple Rain, Purple Rain. Like that's not good. Where, where is that good? When is that song good? I mean, Raspberry Beret. That's okay. I actually like Little Red Corvette, but I'd still take five Taylor Swift songs over him. I'm standing by. I like her music more. Did anybody threaten you? Did the reaction get that bad? I got a lot of threats. Yep, I got a lot of people. Um, a lot of people actually uh, reported me to Twitter as spam <laughs> and, as, and, as, and as suspicious. Um, evidently, I, I got a lot of people threatening me with violence. And, uh, you know, my favorite is all the people, Dan, telling me to, to uh, you know, turn in my man card. That's the joke of it to me is that I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people say they like Prince because they think it makes them sound sophisticated or you know more artsy more cultured hmm. and they don't want to admit that they like taylor swift because it's teeny bopper in their mind teeny bopper high school girls or whatever but i think deep down in places that some people like don't want to admit i think that they love taylor swift's music and i think that when they get in the car and they're driving they'd rather have one of her awesome songs come on than uh, purple rain, purple rain. And people threatening violence to me is hilarious <laughs> because you know what I'll do, Dan? I'll come to their house and I'll put Taylor Swift on my boom box and I'll punch him in the face and I'll beat them up while Taylor Swift music is playing in the background. How about that for my man card? What would be the song? Uh, oh man, there's so many good ones. Um, Bad blood. I mean, if I'm going to get in a fight with somebody, bad blood. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.